What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. I'm doing a video right now about social media addiction. So, social media addiction, this is just self-explanatory, to be honest. Um, I wrote, I, I came up with this topic today, to be honest. Well, I came up with this topic a few days ago, and it's a really important topic because the fact that so much of our living is digital now so which is great you know social media is a phenomenal tool is what i'm recognizing it's not just a it's not where you're supposed to live your life at and i've done videos about this i've spoken up about it it's just the deeper and deeper we go on the journey within to our heart space and the more real be we become the more we're able to see past the illusions in the world and see how fake some of the world gets it gets even more fake the more realer we get you know so basically me speaking about social media is that you know be mindful of it honestly like you need to you need to take a long time a long break from people from social media from technology like to really, really get to the position of, you know, more clarity, more tranquility, more peace, more calm and quiet. You got to spend a lot of time alone. You know, you got to stop going to the club. You know, you got to start writing. You got to have a journal. You got to start creating YouTube content. You got to start reading. You got to start, you know, learning from mentors. You know, you got to start really focusing on what truly matters to you. You know, you got to start going to the drawing board, you know what I mean? And coming up with different ideas, visions, brainstorming stuff, putting things into motion, you know, planning stuff and acting upon the plans, investing in yourself, investing in your health, you know, really going forward with it. And ultimately, you will recognize, wow, you know, this whole time I've been just paying attention to everybody else but myself, you know what I mean? I've been paying attention to celebrities who don't even care. I've been paying attention to fake influencers who really, that's cool for them. You know, however, it's time for us to be able to produce something too. You know, that's what you got to realize as well. It's great to consume. However, you got to make sure you're also producing as well. They have a healthy ratio of production and consumption. So... That's basically what you gotta, you'll wake up to realize, oh, wow, let me develop social media as a tool, you know, and even eventually we can make our own app, you know, that's awesome, you know, but however, use the most popular social media instead of just staying stuck on there, scrolling, 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 searching, 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 you know, refreshing waiting you know what i mean like read a book write a book go outside spend time with the loved one make your own videos you know draw create paintings clothing designs t-shirt designs go work out you know go take a nap go listen to some great music you know go clean up the room the house the dishes whatever you know like there's so many different things to do to prevent us from being distracted on social media because usually what happens is we just fall into the trap of an endless cycle of scrolling and draining our energy online and nothing gets accomplished at all. You know, staring at what everybody else is doing when we ain't moving nothing in our life. You know, so it's important to make sure that That social media is not the priority. You know what I mean? That social media is a tool, you know, and that we focus on, you know, our real love. That is the priority, you know, and our purpose, our mission, our path and have social media as a template, an outlet to connect with other like minds and to get our message out. That's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be an attention seeking competition. You know, it's not supposed to be clout chasing. It's not supposed to be an attention seeking competition against everybody 
you know, every man or every woman against them, you know, for themselves. No, you know what I mean? And it's not either. That's why I don't even get on Facebook or nothing, because like it's the same thing on there, too. It's a lot of fed up people, you know, crabby, trashy kind of, you know, toxic energy that I don't even know any of those people except for like five or ten, you know, and just complaining, you know, gossiping, talking about mundane, frivolous stuff, you know. That's why I'm always maximizing the time that I have with anyone in real life, you know, face to face interactions, even phone calls, text messages, I'm maximizing it and keeping it as real as possible. So with that being said, you know, keep that in consideration whenever you hop on to any of these famous, popular social media sites, because they are making money off of all of us, you know, so it's the same thing with the television, you know what I mean? We can keep watching and watching and watching, but sooner or later we gotta get to the point where we're like, "Hey, it's my it's my time to shine. I'm a star. You know, I'm made out of stardust, and I'm worthy to shine. I'm worthy to glow. I'm worthy to be heard. I'm worthy to be seen and understood and appreciated. You know, I'm worthy to have products out there of service. You know, for humanity in law of exchange. That's the mindset, the mentality." You have to reach, you have to grow to get to, to get your mental health back intact, honestly, because when you're always on social media scrolling or on the television or even on the computer, way too much, your mental health will be affected. You will be more cold, more shallow, more, you know, grumpy and just like boxed in, in your mind more. However, when you have the the willpower and the freedom within your mind to be able to just write, go and write for a while, to paint, to draw, to sing, to dance, to cook, to clean, to brainstorm, to venture out to nature, to be with, you know, a family member, whatever. That's the ultimate, you know, that's when you can get your mind right, you know, and you can share that on social media, you know, in a creative way. However, it shouldn't be your life, your soul, that shouldn't, that's not your savior, you know, social media is not your savior, it's not your dictator, it's not going to save anybody, you know what I mean, it's a collaborative tool, you know, resource, so be mindful with involvement with social media, be mindful, you know, it's not all about attention, it's about what you're doing in your real life, and how you're feeling, and are you prepared for the long run, are you healthy, you know, are you on the right path? You know what I mean? Are you doing it for attention? Or are you doing it because it's really a part of your per your purpose, your path, your mission? You know what I mean? Our spirit has to be in check. It has to be right. It has to be in alignment, truly. So anyways, Authentic Squad, thank you so much, Authentic Squad, for all the support, all the help, all the collaborations, all the ideas, all the love. I am grateful for you, and I'm glad that it's only the beginning of decades of many great continuous uploads and sharing and production and development and growth from us on this page, on this journey, uploading on YouTube, as well as a great amount of other services and creative avenues we're coming up with to pursue in life, to have, to offer to humanity, which ultimately is positively contributing to society, to the world. So anyway, thank you all for watching, listening, understanding. Y'all have an amazing day. Stay tuned. Some great things are in the, are in the process of development now from us to you so stay tuned thank you for your patience y'all have an amazing day dm us for any questions at eternal authenticity www.skyblackwell.com book online 
youtube.com slash help make a difference. Y'all have an amazing day. It's Eternal Authenticity broadcasting live.